Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary Ashcraft. If you are new here, you can follow me on Instagram at that same name. I will have everything linked and spelled down below in the description box. This is my floss tube channel where I talk about all things cross stitch and anything else I feel like. Today is August 19th and this is episode 40, a good round number. Um, <laughs> I have a special guest. Yeah. Can you can you want to guess who this is? <laughs> can you tell? <laughs> oh my gosh. This has taken me like 10 minutes to start. Um, this is my mom. Hi. Sandy. <laughs> I don't know how Elizabeth does this. Elizabeth from Elizabeth Ann can stitch. She has her mom and sisters on and they <laughs> seem just fine. <laughs> um Okay, so I have some, I have my whips to show you. We're gonna share my mom's whips. Whip, whip. one whip, <laughs> one whip. Um, I'll announce the giveaway winners from the last video and, uh, and I'll have a new giveaway. And then I have a bit of haul. Um, so, do you wanna start with yours or do you wanna start with mine? Start with yours, maybe a little bit with yours. Okay, something. well, okay. Before we get into that, if you are new to my channel, my mom taught me to cross stitch when I was about eight or nine years old. I think so. Um, I cross stitched off and on um, over the years growing up, but she would do little, um, like little designs, little motifs, little mm -hmm. you know, like the size of a Christmas ornament when you used to get those little gold hoops. But then I would embellish them and make them bigger. Mm -hmm. using lace and fabric and maybe a hoop and a ruffle so something this big turned into something this big. She would also put them on top of mason jars mm -hmm. and then you know put stuff in the mason jar and you could do it as a gift and yeah. you would sell at craft shows. Oh yeah. I miss craft shows. Those were so too. fun like the Christmas in July ones. Mm -hmm. I have vivid memories of those. I was talking to Lois about that that we need to do one in Williams. That would be fun. So, um, but she had stopped cross stitching, stitching for a while, mainly I think time. because you didn't have time. I didn't have time. She I... was a full time teacher and she retired in 2019, mm -hmm. got married, moved to Arizona. Um, and, uh, and then when I started cross stitching again last year because of COVID, uh, I got her back into it. Mm -hmm. So, you've, how long have you even been working on this? <laughs> I can't even think how long it has been within No, this. it's just this year. Yeah, it's just within this year. And yeah. what was kind of cool is I would see comments on Mary's floss tube or whatever from you guys saying, oh, tell your mom to get going again. I was afraid because it was so small. My eyes were getting worse. I had to wear readers, you know, the most, the biggest whatever size of readers. And, um, it was actually your guys' encouragement, I think, that got me thinking, okay, maybe I can try it. And I've been having a great time. So I, okay, so here's what she's working on. She is doing this kit. It says Merry Christmas. Um, it's Artiste brand, which is Hobby Lobby's brand. So that is probably the largest, this is probably the largest thing I've ever done. My no, you did, I think the largest no. thing you've ever done is that, um, Boyd Bear. Oh, the that's true. Christmas present. For Scrooge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. That, 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 was, that was a good one. Yeah. Okay, so here's where she's at. She's actually gotten a lot done. And I got her her first needle minder, which I have a funny story about in a second. <laughs> so here's where she's at. She's still working on the word Christmas, mm -hmm. but she's gotten... So are you doing one letter at a time? I'm doing one letter at a time, but I'm saving the back stitch for last because I just was... You know, by the time you get done with one letter, you're bored and you want to go on to a different letter or a different color or design or whatever. Yeah, and it looks like you did the back stitch. I did on, on that, that one. one. and Because uh, you started with the H. I think I did. I, I have yes. a picture, I think, still of Same when you started, with H. started it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, she's gotten... Yeah. So, her needle minder, I got this for her from Mad for Minders. White Christmas is our favorite Christmas movie. Um, I'm pretty sure during the Christmas season we watch it every day. Well, starting in July. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I, I would watch it. Actually, I have watched it in July now that I think about it, because Brett really likes this movie too. But um, so just now when she pulled it out to show me, she's, she goes, am I using the needle minder right? And I look, let me, let me get it where it was. Um, she shows it to me and it's like this. It's under the back of that. And I go, no. <laughs> he goes like that. <laughs> but I got her another needle minder that has um, Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew. Yes. So, um, and then we're gonna go kit up. Uh, I got her, I shared a few months ago, I got her Pretty Little Hawaii by Satsuma Street. And so, while she's here, we'll probably go get all the DMC and the Ada needed for that. And, um, and what oh, do you wait, call you these? Can't use, you can't show the pattern oh, because it's sorry. copyrighted. Oh, although I don't think it matters. It's Hobby Lobby. Um, these are project bags. So where did you buy this one? Online. It has her. Oh, her thing right here. Oh, from Little Boat eighty eight. And so that's a really that cute. That was the first. Well, first and only one I bought because you made me one but oh yes when I, I got it I was so I thought oh that was very sweet of her she gave me this little round magnet to put on my <laughs> actually I have the one that came so this one came with the oh, London with the bag that I got from her and I actually do keep mine on the refrigerator because they're just large that's all I thought they were and she thought, <laughs> she thought it was a refrigerator magnet then I learned about needle minders. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty and funny. Those are pretty clever. I yeah. also like the cute little scissors. That oh yeah, out. the little. Where did we go? That was Hobby Lobby because we were together when we got that. Yeah. So anyway, so that is that fun. Do you plan on working on this at all this time while you're here? Yeah, because you brought it. I would I assume. Did. I figured we'd so. make do a little bit so. Once yeah. the kids go to bed. Yeah. Or at least Jackson. Yeah. So um, so the first whip that I worked on over the last two weeks, still going strong on Halloween Fairy by Mirabilia. And again, I changed the colors. I went, if you want to know what colors I'm using, I went over them in my last video. But I've made a lot, what? oh, yeah, okay. I made a lot of progress on this one. So... I like the dress. Yeah, so the dress is all the purple and black in the dress are done. Um, I So I went on a work trip, very first work trip, which is why my mom is here. <laughs> she had to help Brett take care of the kids. Because um, <laughs> I realized this was my first time away from either child, and Amelia turns four next week, and I haven't spent a night away from her even. They did great. They did fine. Yeah, they did great. Brett too. And so, so I got a little bit of stitching done in my hotel room and I had started on her hand, but I don't know if you can really see her, this color of floss. It's Bella Rosa by Classic Color Works, I believe. Um, it is what came with the kit. It's this one. She... I think if I were to continue with this color, she's gonna look pasty. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, it's really light. Burn in the sun because you have Irish skin, like me, pasty. So um, I think I'm gonna frog that. And I ordered the pack of the skin collection from Ymir, Almond M&Ms. She has no idea what I'm talking about. Um, I showed you that frog. last. Frog. Oh, frogging. She doesn't know what frogging is. So frogging is um, when you have, you did a wrong stitch or you realize you miscounted and you need to pick it all out. You got to rip it, rip it, rip it. Oh, got it. <laughs> so I, I'm going to frog this. And uh, yeah, last night while I was trying to fall asleep, I ordered the silks from Ymir and I'm going to use one of those and I'm going to do a skin conversion. Um, so... That is Halloween Fairy. And then last weekend was the Gilmore Girls Black Needle Society Retreat. 
and I started that pattern because it counted for the stitching challenges and I, how many did I do? I think I did three or four stitching hours. So basically what a stitching hour challenge was is you have one hour of stitching and you try to do as many stitches as possible. So my first hour, I think I was like 120 something, 125 stitches in an hour, my first one, but because I, I wasn't really sure, I was like getting used to it. But by the end of my last hour, I had finally broke 200 with 202 stitches. So this is that pattern. I had to explain what a full coverage was. The gardener's here, mom. The gardener, would you like me to go see? <laughs> <laughs> the no, oh no, my. <laughs> Wait, oh, I've seen it before. <laughs> He comes when you do this. Yes. Oh, it always <laughs> happens. <laughs> I, but I haven't, it has, it's been a few weeks because I was filming at night, but um, I'm filming during the day again. But I had to explain what a full coverage pattern was to my mother uh, last night, I think. So this is full coverage. Um, it is one of four patterns, the first of four. I am do <laughs> I'm doing it on 25 count, one over one. So it's going to be tiny and when I said in the Facebook rooms I was with like Katie and Laura and of the Black Needle Society and everybody else and I said I was doing it 25 count one over one, <laughs> Laura's like, that's going to be so small. I'm like, yeah, kind of ran out of time to get fabric. So, um, but I'm really enjoying this and um, my first full coverage. Mm -hmm. And I had to explain how to stitch on linen last night to her. She, she's only ever stitched on Ada. Yep. Back in the day, there wasn't a lot of options. It's amazing. I cannot believe that there's even this community of stitchers, cross stitchers in particular. Um, so I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. And we were talking about how, how people change things now. Like, yes. you know, on this, doing like a purple fabric. That would have yes. never been an, something you would have ever thought no. of doing. No. Ada white or Ada beige. Yeah. You know, or off white or whatever, and that was it. Yeah. And heaven forbid I would deviate from what the pattern says. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. So, um, so that's all the whips I have. Do you want to do haul or giveaway winners? Do I want to do what? Haul is where you show all the things that you've purchased. Or received. Whatever. Yeah, okay. you, yeah. Oh, um, okay. So one of the things I got in the mail, before I put this away. Um, so Forbidden Fiber, which is my favorite fancy floss, she created a conversion pack for the Gilmore Girls Black Needle Society pattern because that was primarily Weeks Dye Works except for one. And some of us don't use Weeks. So um, she created a pack, and this is the pack of floss. It looks pretty much identical to what is called for. Um, so this is on her website if you want to check it out. But I, you know, I couldn't just order this. Is that the very fancy? Yeah, this is. Oh, I also had to explain fancy floss to her last time. All I knew was anchor and DMC. Yes. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so it's like a, you know, like a silver, a sea foam, um, a light, a medium, and a dark blue, and then a light and a dark red. And then um, some of these are colors she already had. Some of them she had to dye particularly for this, and then she'll put them like in her main line. But I also ordered, I got two skeins of jack-o'-lantern. I thought this was like the perfect orange for some pumpkins, for some fall stitching. And I got magnetic mahogany. Again, I think this, it's like a nice burnt orangish red, good for fall stitching. And then this is pickle, <laughs> maybe for fall, maybe for Halloween or Christmas. Um, so that's all the floss I've received. I got a piece of fabric from Fight Night. She doesn't know what this is either. 
So Be Stitch Me is a fabric dyer. So she does these hand dyed fabrics. And every so often on Friday nights, she does sales on Facebook and you get to go through and, and it's like, it's like, you gotta be on at seven mm -hmm. o'clock. Well, it, for me it's seven o'clock, but mm -hmm. you know, when it starts because they go quickly. Mm -hmm. So this is the color Neptune. It's Lugana opalescent 32 count. But I just thought this is such a pretty blue Maybe for some Christmas stitching. Well, wait, let's see. It's kind of brighter than what, I would say it's a little bit brighter than what's showing up in the video. Yeah, a little bit brighter. But you can see the opalescence. So yeah, that's what these sparkles are. You know that uh, one pattern with the Santa and the polar bear that we saw? Oh, from the box. That you're gonna make for me someday. Be pretty on maybe in 20 years <laughs> I could start it this year it's gonna be done in 10 years For the news. <laughs> okay that'll be my goal finish it when the house is done because let's be real we'll have a race <laughs> <laughs> like maybe that okay how about you tell me when tad starts building the house and I will start a project for you okay. and then we will see who gets done first okay it's gonna be me um okay so then oh one of the things i got some happy mail i got morgan the honeybee stitcher sent me her skein of um color and cotton pear for my halloween fairy and she is from australia and she included two packages of tim tams so these are the originals and the other pack is raspberry and dark chocolate and brett already opened those yeah i saw them so they're sitting on the counter um and then uh i guess this is the last stitchy related stuff but um black needle society put a bunch of stuff up in their vault from the frog warts box the pirate box and the night garden box she has she has no idea what any of this means and so there were a few things from the night garden and the pirate box that I really wanted and I was able to snag those. So this is the midi pattern from the night garden box. Little, cute little snail. Adorable little snail. This one says savor life and all its magic. I really like the moth on that one. And then from the pirate box, because I love frosted pumpkins, I got the pattern and the needle minder. That's so cute. I think I want to do this for Laura. Yeah, I think that, that would, would be, be good. super she cute. Loves pirates. My sister loves pirates. I'm gonna look at this one myself. Oh, and Mermaid, cute. Yeah. And super the cute. treasure chest and the octopus holding the pirate ship. And then I also got the floss that came with that box, which they're all named after famous pirates. Let's see if my mom knows these, okay. So this is called One-Eyed Willy. Mm. Do you know what movie that's from? One-Eyed Willy? What movie? Yeah. I'm guessing Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> no! Goonies! Goonies Never Say Die. Oh. The, the, the ship that they go find? One-Eyed Willy? No? Nothing? Okay. <laughs> you guys all watched it. All right, what about this one? Do you know Captain Hook? Uh, yeah, I think so. I <laughs> Yes, I, I spent some time with Captain Hook. <laughs> and then I think I know what this one's from, but I've never seen the movie. Dread Pirate Roberts. I think some when I was watching an unboxing, they said it was from Princess Bride. Oh. I haven't. I have it, but I've never seen it. Hopefully people don't hate me for that. Okay, and the last one. Captain Jack. Oh, well. <laughs> I, I was like, once That's I saw cool. that one was named Captain Jack, I was like, I kind of yeah. have to get that one. So, um, yeah, I really like those colors. So the last thing, my mom does not have home goods. Oh, um, we have Marshalls. Okay, so, like so you are able to get some Ray done. Occasionally. There wasn't much when I went there, though. Okay. Well, so you may have noticed I put some fall stuff out, but yesterday she went to our home goods and she found this. As she was checking out, it was in the return pile, you know, behind the counters. So she got it. 
<laughs> so very exciting stuff. We we love Ray Dunn here. Yeah, so, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I guess all that's left. Wow, I, we went through this really quickly because mm -hmm. this video is only twenty minutes long. <laughs> you're like you're like less time for me to have to watch it <laughs> so okay let's do the giveaway winners so last time I had three where are they here they are three to give away so when I shared these I, I did a little story with each of them because I know you haven't watched the last video I'm oh, sorry this one what does this remind you of San Diego uh, Cabrillo no, uh, what does it remind you of us when oh, growing oh, up? Oh, 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 the afghan that I had. Yes, yeah. yes, but also our bathroom that you guys tried to make oh, that's right. lighthouse themed. Yeah, that's true too. And you, who painted the room blue with the clouds but then never painted the lighthouse? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the winner of this one is Geneva Clark. Now the, the rules for the giveaways is you have to fill out the Google form which is in my description box down below. And so um, you have to fill that out. So if you want to enter this week's giveaways, keep in mind, fill out the Google form. Um, so Geneva Clark. Um, and then the next one is the elephant mask, which I think with this one, oh, we had just gotten back from the wild animal park mm. where we saw the elephants and a baby elephant. This goes to Piney Woods Stitcher. And then the last one, which she, I think she, you were a little sad I was giving it away. <laughs> she went through the box of goodies that my friend sent me. The little woman chart, women chart, which I shared that I was in the musical. Yeah. I think I shared that. I was in the musical my senior year of high school. I was Meg. Yeah. So this is a very dear. She did a wonderful job. I can okay. attest to that. And you're my mom. You have to say mm -hmm. that. It was fun. It was a great show. Yeah. So this goes to Colette Kingsley. So congratulations Yay. all. And this week, we're giving away a few more. I've got a lot to go in this box, so it's going to be giveaways for the, like, the foreseeable so watching months. Your YouTube, or your blogs, too. Yeah. <laughs> better start watching them more often and then I can get into the drawings too. <laughs> if you want some of these charts, <laughs> you can just take them. Oh my uh, lord. Okay, so these ones I'm going to give away all three as a set because I feel like they're supposed to go together. Yeah. Um, so this is Noah and Company. This is the Hippo Hippos, Elephants and Pandas. And so the keyword for these will be oh. animal. Animal. Yes, animals. An animal. Okay. <laughs> okay, and then because we're still in summer, apparently, um, we're gonna do, who is this even by? I don't know who this is by. Is it Silk Weaver? No. Okay, well, we're going to do this mermaid. Sea Treasures. So the keyword for this will be mermaid. This is like very Mirabilia-esque. Very pretty. And then the last one, again, because we are in summer and I really like this house, uh, it's going to be this one. And for this, we will do the keyword as summer. Okay, summer. So summer, mermaid, and animal. And you can enter to win all three of them. And you use as many keywords as you want. And you have to fill out the Google form, uh, which is linked in my description box. And that is it. Anything else? I... Did you notice my setup? It's like when I do mine. I know, but did you <laughs> notice what it is? Jeez. <laughs> you want to say hi, Dad? I know. No. Yeah. She clearly doesn't watch my channel enough. Oh, sorry. All of them knew that I used Dad. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, 
goodness. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, yeah, if you're new here, I use my father's ashes to prop it up. It's like, it's he's him supporting me. Yeah, that's, he is literally <laughs> supporting you right now. <laughs> um, all right, so that's it. Uh, we'll see if I'm back next week. Probably not. I think I'm... I'm good with the every two weeks right now since work is so busy and swim is gonna start in September so I will see you in two weeks I have no idea what I'm gonna stitch on oh I think I think um, I have to check with her but my friend Alexis uh, and Julie Kansas City girl in a Colorado world they are starting Amir Belia on the 23rd for her birthday. And I think I'm gonna start one too and I'm gonna let Amelia pick it out. Oh, because you know. Amelia's birthday is on the 24th and she yeah. will be four. So I'll let her pick out which one from my giant stack that I have now. Mm -hmm. uh, pick, let her pick one. Um, so I think that's, that's the only plan I can think of for this week. I assume you're just gonna continue working on Merry Christmas. Yeah, my goal was to have it done by Christmas because I thought maybe we'd be in a new house. But you thought Tab was going to build you a house in six months by himself? No, 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 no. He's not building it. We're having a builder. Okay. <laughs> but no, now we're looking at next Christmas, so I have more time to finish it, which is why I can start another whip. <laughs> oh, she's a monogamous stitcher, like I was. And now, now she's starting more. <laughs> well, what I want to do is, because I we have those few, um, you know, booklets that I have that I brought. That oh, come, yeah, for like, yeah. The, like you said, mason jar kind of thing. Or little, yeah, aren't they like things. leisure arts? It's probably leisure arts. And, you you know, little circles with cutesy whatever's for Christmas. Yeah. And you can make little gifts. And where, you know, where I come from. Just a little something something is nice to give to people, you know. So. You're going to do it for your Bunko group? Probably. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You know, I was thinking about Bunko when you were doing your stitchy, how many stitches you get done in an hour, you know, how many faster and faster. I said, well, I thought to myself, it's like Bunko. You have to roll as many as you can, as, go as fast as you can until the bell rings. Okay. See? So we can relate <laughs> stitching to Bunko. <laughs> Oh, Lord. So, all right, that's it. That was a really short video, probably because I went through it so quickly, so I feel very <laughs> embarrassed right now. <laughs> People like it. <laughs> so I guess yeah. I will see you in two weeks. Yeah. We'll see if she comes yeah. back. <laughs> all all right. right, I'll see you later, guys. Bye. Bye.